okay so i have gone ahead and um used my super glue i used a super glue to um make hold the sides of my bag so that it can be firm and remember we measured round um the circle before about 27.65 so i went ahead and cut and cut a long strap of the same measurement 27.65 by two inches so this is just a a little piece i cut out of um two inches by one it is going to be serving as a so i'm going to just use that little piece to hold down um my strap so that it can form a circle so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be applying gum on both edges of my strap okay so i cut the strap with a carry board just in case so I'm just going to apply gum on both sides and apply gum on this little piece. Remember I said this is 2 inches by 1 and it is just going to be serving as a hold. It's going to be it's going to be holding my strap together. So I will leave that to dry up for a few minutes and then I'll come back and then join my strap on it this way. And in case you just see my video for the first time, we are recreating a trendy mini bag. So this is the part two of the recreation. The part one is in the channel. I'm going to be dropping a link at the top of this video so you can go and watch it and you can understand what we are I am doing here. So now I've gotten my circle and remember the width of the circle is two inches. So I am going to be cutting um, times two of that two inches, which is um four inches. But I decided to make um I decided to make it four and um quarter. That is four point two five, so it can be a bit wider. So the reason is I want my leather to go round it. I want my leather to cover both the front part and the back part of my of my circle. Now um. I'm just going to rule a line and cut this out and i measured the strap on the circle and it wasn't up to 27 point um 27.65 and i needed it it was just 27 inches here as you can see almost 27 inches so i'm going to be cutting a little strap to attach to my leather so that it can give me at least 28 inches the reason is because um so that um i can be able to cover all the edges of my of my circle so while i'm doing that little intro hi guys my name is fever and you're welcome to my channel if you're just coming across my channel for the very first time i post sewing diy bag making videos and some fashion tips in this channel and if you're just seeing my videos for the first time please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber we are basically family so <laughs> thank you for always coming back um if you enjoy if you're enjoying this video so far and if you've watched this up to this point um, please do well to give this video a thumbs up so YouTube can push this video and show this video to more people. Thank you. So after um, applying, after attaching my leather, the little leather strap I added, I attached at the bottom. So I have about 28.5 inches there. So I just showed you. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying gum on my leather strap and um the outer part of my of my um circle so after applying gum i left it to dry up for a few minutes and i'm going to go ahead and attach it together and i am doing this i'm not doing this off camera so i can show you exactly what i'm doing okay so i'm just so this this is the part where you should be really really careful like you should take your time so this video is put on a little bit of speed but if i was to if i was to leave it at the original speed i did this you would see that i was 
I was really, really slow. I was taking my time. So you have to take your time so you don't make any mistakes or because if you're doing this too fast, you would notice um, the circle is either going on one side or of the of the um of the leather and you really do not want that So after covering the outer side of um the outer side of my circle with leather i'm going to be applying gum on the inner part so that i can be able to fold in my leather so after apl applying gum i'm going to leave this to dry for a few minutes then i'm going to fold in my leather and then take it to the sewing machine and then sew around so i'm just going to leave this to dry for a few minutes now so this is just me showing you how um to push um, at, um your leather in and gum it down so this is how you're going to be doing this so i'm going to do this round and then take it to the sewing machine and then sew round on both edges of the circle so i have gone ahead and done that i did it off camera i did the sewing off camera my machine was giving me a little bit of headache so i couldn't do it on camera but i've gone ahead and sewn round so the next thing i'm going to be doing is attaching my bag to it the inner of my bag to it and this is how i'm just going to be attaching it this way as you can see so this is just me looking for the best position to put this. Okay, so after I am satisfied with the position I want this, I am going to go ahead and use my super glue to hold it down. So I'm just going to be doing this um, little by little. I'm going to use my super glue to hold the edges down so that it, don't, it doesn't pull off. It, you shouldn't use ordinary gum because I think if you if you use ordinary gum, it won't last long and it will pull off. So um, I think using a super glue is the best option for this. So I'm just going to be doing this slow and steady. I'm just going to be doing it around. And this is the final look of our recreation. So tell me what you think in the comments. Is this something you would try? And if you try it, um, I would like to see your own recreation. Bye.